So you've sold your home, but you don't know where you're going next. So that is a realistic scenario for many people out there. So the one condition that we're seeing a lot of these days in, in, the, in this market shift is the seller to purchase a property. We've heard of the opposite one, where the buyer has to sell their house before they can purchase the seller's house. But this is the opposite. The seller now has an offer on their house, and the question that should have been addressed ahead of time, which more often than not is, is where do we go next? That seller may tell the buyer, look, we'll accept your offer, but we have to, ex we have to spend some time to find a home that we want to go to next. So, what exactly does that look like? Well, now that the seller has their home sold, subject to them finding a house, they are given a period of time. It could be anywhere from a week to two weeks to a month to try to find something else. Sometimes, more often than not, the seller already knows a home or two that they would like to make an offer on. And so, therefore, it's just a matter of, you know, putting a condition in for a week for them to try to secure that home they're looking at. But in other instances, the seller may not have an idea where they're going because they're just like, okay, you know, my home is a tough home to sell. I'm gonna make that the priority. And so therefore, when it sells, I'll, uh, I'll you know, not be overly selective about where I wanna go next. I just need some time to secure something. So they may put a condition in for maybe a couple of weeks. You know, if you've got a very forgiving buyer, they may give you up to a month to find a property. But keep in mind, that condition for the buyer is very ugly because now the buyer's life is completely in limbo until, oh, decline that. So the buyer's life is basically in limbo until you as a seller know where it is that you're going. So that is something that you have to take into consideration you may end up getting a lesser offer from a buyer, a less competitive offer from a buyer, simply because the buyer has to make a big concession on their part before they know that that home is theirs. Just like somebody that is making an offer on a house uh, and they're making it a condition on the sale of their home. Well, to be honest, the seller is not crazy about that offer because their life is then in limbo too until the buyer gets their home sold. So the buyer may just incentivize the seller by giving them a better price. Well, it's the opposite when it comes to the seller purchasing a property. The buyer may not give you as competitive a price, but they may be open to giving you this extension. It really relies on how long that buyer has and basically the urgency they have. If they're living at home in mom and dad's you know, basement and they have nothing but time on their hand and they can get a better deal on a house, then they may extend that week, two weeks, three weeks or a month to you. But I certainly would say we are seeing this condition a lot more. It's not overly attractive when it comes to selling your home um, and it can make your home less competitive. But of course, it really depends on the style of home that you got. Anyways, keep that in mind. Seller purchasing a property as a condition. We're starting to see that more often now but just wanted you to have an explanation of the kind of pros, the cons, and what it really looks like to a buyer. Anyways, see you guys.